I wanted to do a little video here on the navigational options. You can get to it several ways. I'm just going to go ahead and go edit navigation options. One thing I want to make you aware of is that the device settings, the device settings here, this is for the mouse. This is where you can set what key to toggle the navigation. Currently uh, on my system, it's reading the extra button for toggling the navigation. So this is not my left mouse, my right mouse, my wheel or anything else. This is an additional key on my particular mouse. Uh, I just click it and I get into the navigation. I click it back and it goes away. On the keyboard, you have the same type of a thing and you can choose here whatever key you wish. This does not read multiple keystrokes, so you can't set this to Shift X or Control X or Alt X. Um, you can certainly set it to any other key you wish. Um, this should save with the configuration file. If it doesn't, please report it. Um, this also has been fixed to ignore if you have an additional control in layout or modeler that's already set up to something that uses the X key, such as Shift X for box. It should ignore it. Um, again, if not, please report. Uh, an additional thing here is the locking of bank angle. Uh, this is easiest seen from the mouse. If I go ahead and uh, change this back and I'm going to get kind of flat here. If I leave it off and I enable, so there's my enable and it doesn't take long for me to see that now my bank angle as I as I rotate and this is somewhat expected. I think of this particular kind of control, but as you can see, it's very easy to get into a bank angle situation. So if I then disable it, hold down the alt key, use my right mouse and I can flatten back out again. We've added lock bank angle. So now if I enable this and do the same kind of motion, bank angle is not taken into account. This is settable for the mouse and for the keyboard. Currently, it is set to be on by default for mouse and off by default for keyboard. I'm actually using a prior build that doesn't illustrate this, but for mouse, it is on by default by keyboard. It is off by default. It has been made separate because this, if it was still global, it could mess up 3D mice. So uh, just wanted to make you aware of some changes in this tool.